Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. In this video, we're going to learn how to send automated WhatsApp message for industrial machinery India Mart in queries. So I am an owner of a business in which I receive a lot of inquiries with the help of India Mart for my industrial machinery business. Now, I want to send all the leads that are generated with the help of India Mart a WhatsApp message as they are going to generate the lead. Now, doing this manually will take me a lot of time. So what I did was I simply created an automation using Public Connect, which is an amazing automation and integration software. So here in this automation, what we are going to learn is as whenever by any of my potential customers or clients a new lead is going to be generated with the help of India Mart and we are going to receive the inquiry automatically towards the lead a WhatsApp message is going to be forwarded and we are going to send the WhatsApp message with the help of WhatsApp by AI Sensei as I've created a message template using that. If you want you can use Vartier Interact to create your own message template and for that we are going to create an automation between India Mart and WhatsApp with the help of Connect. So if you want to learn about this amazing automation, then let me take you all to my screen. Welcome to my screen. In this video, we're going to learn send automated WhatsApp message for industrial machinery and engineering solutions in their mart inquiries. So as an owner of a business, we receive multiple inquiries daily through India Mart for our industrial machinery. Before automation, manually following each lead was time-consuming and sometimes lead to miss opportunities. Now with automated WhatsApp messages, each inquiries instantly receive a personalized message. This not only streamlined our communication process, but also increased our response rate, allowing us to close deals faster and provide better customer service. And we are going to be creating this amazing automation with the help of Pabli Connect. So on the screen, you can see the website of Pabli Connect, that is pabli.com slash connect. After browsing this website, we need to sign into our Pabli Connect account. But if you're a new user, you can sign up for free and get 100 free tasks every month. So as I'm an existing user, I'm going to sign in to my Pabli Connect account. After signing in, you can see the all Pabli apps window in front of you in which you can see the five applications of Pabli. From which we are going to select Pabli Connect by clicking on Access Now. Then Pabli Connect's dashboard is going to appear in front of you. In order to start an automation process in Pabli Connect, we need to create a workflow. For that, click on the top right corner button right over here that says create workflow. A dialog box is then going to appear in front of you which is asking for the workflow name and for us to select a folder. So for the name of my workflow, I'm going to give it as send automated WhatsApp message for industrial machinery and engineering solutions in their Martin queries. So this is the name that I want to give to my workflow. Next, it is asking for us to select a folder so on the left side of my screen, you can see I've created multiple folders in my Pabli Connect account from which I'm going to select a specific folder in which I want to save this workflow in. For that, click on this drop down. So these are the folders from which I'm going to select India Mart Automations as the folder I want to save this workflow in. After giving a name to a workflow and selecting the folder, let's click on create in order to create a workflow. A workflow is created in the name of send automated WhatsApp message for industrial machinery and engineering solution in MRT inquiries and there are two windows in front of you. One over here says trigger, other says action. Trigger and action are the two most important steps of our automation process because our process depends on these two concepts. Over here trigger says when this happens and action says do this. That means our action is a response towards our trigger. In an automation process, they can only one trigger step but multiple action steps. We are going to set up our trigger step first. And for the trigger application, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select it as India Mart. As with the help of India Mart, I'm receiving a lot of inquiries for my business. I want that it, as soon as a new inquiry is going to be generated by any of my lead using India Mart, automatically public and it should capture the response. That is why for the trigger application, I've selected it as India Mart. For the trigger event, I'm going to select it as new leads. As whenever a new need is going to be generated with, with the help of India Mart, automatically Public Connect should capture the response. After selecting the trigger application and the event, you can see that Public Connect has provided us with a webhook URL. With the help of this unique webhook URL, we are going to create a connection between India Mart to Public Connect so that whenever a new lead is going to be generated using India Mart, automatically Public Connect should capture the response. And how are we going to connect India Mart to Public Connect? By following the steps given here below in the help desk. So firstly, I'm going to copy this URL from here. After copying the URL, you have to log into your India Mart account. So as you can see that this is my India Mart account right over here. 
here and now i'm going to connect this account to pabli connect and for that what we are going to do is from the left side of the panel you have to click on this lead manager option right over here as we go to land to the lead manager option you can see that over here on the top left corner it says menu button i'm going to click on it and under menu click on import slash export leads as you go to do that from these options click on push api button as we go to come to it you will be landed towards the push api integration page after landing to the page it is asking for us to select a source as the given source is not provided to us in this drop down click on the source as other right over here it is asking for the platform name so the platform name i'm going to give my source name that that is pabli connect okay so this is the source name and for the url i'm going to paste the webhook url that pabli connect has provided us after pasting the url i'm going to click on the save details button as we're going to do that it is asking for the reason why are we creating this webhook right over here so for the reason i'm going to select a random reason from the drop down if you want you can select your own reason right over here after that, click on click to generate otp button as i've done that you can see over here the webhook url is fully added right over here as the webhook url is now been added to my india mart account i'm going to go back to my workflow you can see it is saying waiting for webhook response so now what we are going to do is we are going to generate a test lead with the help of india mart for the product that i'm selling i'm going to generate a test lead for that and i'm going to check whether public and it has captured the response of the new lead being generated or not as we are testing india mart is fully connected to public and it or not okay so for that i'm going to log in to the user account of my india mart as you can see that this is the user account of my india mart right over here now what i'm going to do is i am going to search for the product that i'm selling for my business so i have created dummy product so i'm going to search for the dummy product right over here so this is a dummy product that i've created i'm going to select it so this is the dummy product right over here you can see okay now i'm going to click on this contact supply button to generate a test lead as i've done that it is asking for the message the inquiry that we want to ask so for the message over here i'm going to write it as so this is the message that i want to write hi i am interested in your cnc milling machines can you provide the specifications and pricing so this is the quick query that i want to generate i'm going to click on the submit button it is asking for the business name for the business name over here i'm going to write it as test company okay and then i'm going to click on the submit button as i've done that it sees your details are sent so as the details are been forwarded i am going to open my workflow that i've created and i'm going to check whether public and it has captured the response of the test lead being generated or not for that, i'm going to open my workflow that i've created so now i'm going to scroll down and yes you can see right over here the response of the new lead being generated has been captured in my response right over here okay let us tally the response we have received the unique inquiry id you can see right over here for the subject of the inquiry as you can see right over here okay for the state we have received the state as madhya pradesh name over here the name of the lead that is angel right over here for the mobile number i have received the leads mobile number email address as test user at the rate pablitudes.com country as india i and the country code company as test company city as bhopal address as bhopal madhya pradesh you can see right over here with the time of the inquiry being generated the product name and the message that we have forwarded this is the same inquiry message that is hi i am interested in your cnc milling machines can you provide the specifications and pricing okay as we have received the message the inquiry that we have generated this reads that india mart is now successfully connected to public connect and the trigger setup is done now wherever a new lead is going to be generated by the of by potential customers and clients using india mart automatically in the similar manner public connect is going to capture the response okay so as the trigger setup is done now we need to set up our action step and for the action application what i'm going to do is i'm going to select it as whatsapp by ai sensi as with the help of whatsapp by ai sensi i have created a message template with the help of which i will be forwarding messages to all my potential clients and customers as they are going to generate a new lead using india mart okay i have created a message template using whatsapp by ai sensi you can see right over here and with the help of this message template i will be forwarding messages to all of my customers and clients potential customers and clients okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to select my action application as whatsapp by asnc and for the action of it i'm going to select as set template message that i'm going to click on this connect button as i'm going to do that a new video is going to appear in front of you always you can add your connection or else you can select the existing connection after that you can see it is asking for the api key with the help of this api key we are going to connect whatsapp by asnc to public connect so for the api key over here you have to follow the steps given here below the help desk log into your asnc account as you can see that is my asnc account right over here 
I have to have the access of the API key from the left side of the panel. Go to Manage button. After coming to Manage under it, you can see it says API key. Click on it. This is the API key. Copy this key from here and paste it over here in Map Public Edit Workflow, and then click on the Save button. As we have done that, you can see WhatsApp by ASHC is now connected to Public Connect. After connecting, you can see it is asking for the campaign name. In order to send the message template to all of our customers, we need to create a campaign in our AI Sensei account. And for creating the campaign from the left side of the panel, go to this campaign section right over here after coming to campaign over here click on this launch button on the top right corner it is going to ask for us to select the campaign type select it as api campaign okay it is going to ask for the campaign name so the campaign name over here i'm going to give it as so this is the campaign name that i want to give that is india mart new leads okay so this is the campaign name and for the template over here i'm going to select it as so this is the template that I've created that is India Mart message. Okay. So this is the campaign name that I've given. I've selected the template that I've created. Now I'm going to click on the set live button and go to campaign button. You can see the campaign in the name of India Mart le new leads has been created and the status of the campaign is live. It is very important for the status to be live because in the help desk it sees the campaign should have the status as live. Okay. So as the campaign is now created for the campaign name, I'm going to paste the campaign name that is India Mart new leads. Okay. After that, it is asking for the mobile number on which mobile number do we want to send a WhatsApp WhatsApp message to. As I want to send a WhatsApp message to the new lead being generated, for that we are going to map the data. Mapping means inserting data from the previous step. So we're going to insert the data from the previous step of this workflow. And how mapping works is that as soon as I'm going to click on this wheel, you can see this was the previous step of this workflow that is India Mart new leads. Okay. And as I'm going to click on it, you can see this was the same response that was captured in our previous step. As over here it is asking for the mobile number of my lead from my previous response, I'm going to map the data of the mobile number of my lead. Okay. So as you can see right over here, this is the mobile number of my lead in my previous response. I'm going to select this data from my previous response. As I've selected the data from my previous response, the data is mapped. And as I map the data, the data has now become dynamic. That means whenever a new response is going to be captured in our previous step, automatically the new data is going to be updated in place of this map data. Next, it is asking for the username. It says to whom we want to send the campaign message to. For the username, I'm going to map the data of the name of my lead that has been generated. So I'm going to map the data of the name of my lead, okay? Next, it is asking for the source and the tags that do not require the field. So I'm going to skip the part. After that, it is asking for the template parameter. So in this template, you can see right away, this is a template that I've created. Firstly, we're going to read the template. It says hello. Next to hello, you can see this is a variable right over here. What's a variable? In front of the value and in the end of the value, you can see there are two curly brackets. So this is a variable right over here. In place of this variable, I wanted the customer's name. So that is why I've entered the variable so that I can enter the customer's name as to send them a personalized message. Okay. It says, thank you for your inquiry on India Mart. We appreciate your interest in our business. For information, you can view our catalog here on this website. Feel free to reply to this message if you have any questions or would like to place an order. We are here to assist you. Thank you. Best regards. So this is the template message that I've created. And over here, as you can see, I've told you that I have created a variable. To enter the value of this variable, the field is provided to us. That is template parameter. In place of this template parameter field, we are going to enter the value of the variable that we have created in the template okay as over here i want the value of the customer's name next to hello that's why i created the variable so i'm going to map the date of the name of my lead right over here as i want the name of my lead to be there okay so as I've entered the template parameter field, the value of the variable, that is the name of my customer. After that, it is asking for the attributes, URL, and the file name. I do not require the field, so I'm going to skip the part. After filling all the details, I'm going to click on the Save and Send Test Request button. After click on Save and Send Test Request button, you can see the success comes as to and we have received the message ID, which is a positive response. So now I'm going to open my WhatsApp and I'm going to check whether I have received a new WhatsApp message or not. For that, I'm going to open my WhatsApp. And yes, as you can see right over here, we have received a WhatsApp message. It says, hello. Next to hello is the customer's name, the lead's name. That was Ajil. Thank you for your inquiry on India Mart. We appreciate your interest in our business. For more information, you can view our catalog at this dummy website. Feel free to reply to this message if you have any questions or would like to place an order. We are here for your assistance. Thank you. Best regards. So this is the message that has been forwarded to us on our WhatsApp. This means that we successfully created an automation between India Mart and WhatsApp by SNC with the help of Pabli Connect. So now to sum up till now what we have done, I am an owner of an industrial machinery business and I receive a lot of inquiries for my business with the help of India Mart. So here my objective is that as soon as a new lead is going to be generated with the help of India Mart, automatically towards the lead, a WhatsApp message should be forwarded. And for that, we have created this amazing automation between India Mart and WhatsApp with the help of Pabli Connect. 
So if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel, hit on the like button, comment down below if you have any questions or doubts, and please share this video. Not just with these applications, you can create automation with the help of Pabli Connect between multiple applications. If you have any doubts, you can send us the email on support at the rate pabli.com. If you have any queries, you can ask your queries on forum.pabli.com. If you have any queries regarding the pricing of Pabli Connect, then you can check out this link. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel, hit on the like button, comment down below if you have any questions and doubts, and please share this video. And thank you for watching.